I discern and execute Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, United Methodist Church, translator, Mrs. Irene Park, reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of doctor in ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an executive director of Menowa Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for minister. Now she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sun Bun Yun, former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. As the news of the U.S. Capitol riot was spread worldwide, my heart became dark and ashamed of the United States. For the past 43 years since I immigrated to the States, I was always proud of the country because of the government's stable policies and its people not really having to worry about the nation's politics and economy. And especially, there was no precedent of putting formal presidents in jail. But this riot seems to have smeared everything about the country with disgrace. Its citizens turning to riots easily have created unrest and it has become the reality of the United States. The church is in slump. Homosexuality and anti-Christian movement is increasing and the invasion of the left extremist Communism is nothing to be overlooked. Previously, we used to worry about the terrorism in the Middle East, but now the extreme leftist communism permeated into the core of the U.S. government and disturbing the whole country. So before arguing who is right or wrong, I had to pray to the Lord with such lament, not knowing where this world is heading toward. My beloved daughter, this is the preliminary outpost of what you are facing and must fight and discern in 2021. Who do you think will be the beast? Communism, which imitated the lifestyle of the apostolic age, will become the entity of the beast. Satan's biggest counterfeit imitation is the system of communism. The reason it is so horrible is that there is no God in them, and they divinize humanity, ideology, and the system, while permeating into the world politics by stealth. Satan's imitation can be on a personal level to the global level, including nations as well as the whole world. Korea and America have been affected by communism because it has grown more gigantic than Christian faith. If Korea and the United States collapse, Christianity will collapse in the end. The United States of America was the symbol of a police country for democracy and Christianity, but its fort was attacked by communism and America. The great Persia has collapsed. You gave revival to the United States in order to protect Christian faith? Yes, that is correct. Like anointing Cyrus to rebuild the temple for Israel, I anointed the United States. But America's inclination to the left expelled the Ten Commandments and prayers from the public schools, allowed same-sex marriage and abortion, and let the leftists settle in by giving an open seat. Korea is cowardly. It has become a nation like a bat, faltering to a communist nation as well as to a democratic nation. And what's more, the people accept it as if nothing is wrong. Furthermore, in the name of evangelism, Korean churches have concentrated on gaining their names and expanding own power. They said they were doing it for my glory but in fact, it was for their own glory. So how in the world could they have prevented the expansion of communism?
It is like the poisonous mushrooms or cancer cells, which grow in the shady spots and eventually take over everything. People are not aware how scary it is and only applaud to their nation, which is becoming the leftist. Even though the United States has been fighting against China, the head of the communist regime, America no longer has the power to fight because American people have leaned toward left and they are confronting against Christian values in the name of human rights. Then, what should we do now? Since you have always talked about the final triumph, do we need not worry? The final victory belongs to me, of course, but you should not be defeated helplessly at every battle. The process is all too important. That is why it is said my people are called to be the soldiers. Until now, you might have worshipped me only to be blessed and to protect your abundance without any notion of being a soldier. But that is the faith of a scarecrow. If that is what you want, call a shaman to perform exorcism. It might be faster. Now, you must become soldiers and fight. Fight against communism, fight against Satan's counterfeits, discern the spirits and fight in the real battles. If you become a spectator, the dragon will turn you into communism, the power of the beast, and you will be under the communist economy system. We do know that the power which manipulates communism is Satan. No matter what the names of the conspiring organizations might be, Satan is behind them all, and eventually all the visual churches will be vanished. Yet I considered it necessary to send you to Aphrodite, my brother, fellow worker and fellow soldier, but your messenger and the one who ministered to my need, Philippians 2, verse 25. You, therefore, must endure hardships as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier, 2 Timothy 2, verse 3 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principality, against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of the wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may, may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Ephesians 6, verse 10 to 13. The purpose of the Christ army is to give life, not kill people. But the final purpose of Satan's army is to kill. Satan's power, which has permeated into the country, is killing families, individuals, churches, and the government. The Christ army ought to unfold strategies for wars to revive people. In order to give life, the soldiers must first get rid of the obstacle called personal greed and be loyal to the army, be equipped with weapons, and fight to triumph. The church has made Christians too feeble. Many faults belong to the revival preachers who preached faith is proportionate to the amount of offering given. They have destroyed the breakwater of the immunity of the church. Even though many people have been saved through revival meetings, it is also true that they have caused serious corruption in churches, mainly due to the ministers under the spirit of Mammon. The Christian faith in America was transferred to Korea for the purpose of becoming a watchman nation for the world. But when the country became rich, they were under an illusion that they had reached the final destination of faith and corrupted. That had been the scheme of Satan toward America and Korea all along. 
but nobody was aware of it, and pastors, preachers, and church members all collapsed by Satan's strategy. Satan cunningly brought in syncretism to break down churches, and pastors not only ignored it, but they even used expedient methods. Prayers in the mountains have decreased, and even the intercessors for the nations have been brought into Satan. They became busy to whom the prayer mountain property should be given in inheritance. Hence, the vitality and the life of prayer house was lost. Now, even the United States, which is the last fort, has been collapsed by such power. Therefore, I give you three key words in order to triumph this new year. Firstly, fight. Secondly, Discern spiritually. Thirdly, execute. These three are the core vocabularies for this year. Fight against Satan's counterfeit and discern who the enemy is and take a stance to fight. Last year, you spent too much time on number six because you had a great interest in it. Six has a meaning of lack. Six, six, six is saying lack three times in a row, therefore making it a complete lack. But now pay attention to 777 and 888. 777 is my perfect number. 888 is the perfect number of eternity. From now on, focus on me. Trust me and acknowledge me as your God. Have some interest in my righteousness and my kingdom. And never use me for your own benefits while hiding your evil intentions. Since I see the heart, those intentions will be revealed all over the world. 888 is a perfect number about eternity. Now is the time to recognize what to execute, practice and act in order for God's kingdom and his righteousness to be accomplished on this earth. Do not waver either to the left nor to the right. Stand firm on the scriptures, in prayers, and grow. Do not be shaken. Do not be tempted, and never compromise with the world. Last year, I told you about seven keys to win a victory in 2020. For this year, I propose three things to score a triumph. Enter into the spiritual warfare and fight. Discern and distinguish the enemies from your forces and fight. Do not just think in your head. Use your body to participate in the war. Execute. Do not merely ponder in your thoughts any longer. Get up with a gun in your hand. Do not be a coward. Stand up for his kingdom and righteousness. Be alert. Discern. Fill up with oil then I will pour over you as well. Do you mean we ought to become political? From the beginning, I gave you the political spirituality. That is why I said govern the earth and reign over. Satan has already come into your homes, not in the blue house or the white house. Become political from here. Govern and reign over. If you cannot govern and reign over your own homes, how could you win victory in church, society, and in the nation? If I see you govern and reign over, I will say, I saw that it is good. I hope the word political does not mislead you. It does not mean to participate in politics. It implies the nature of governing and reigning over. I am the God of wars. From the beginning, I sent my only begotten son, Jesus, as the king in order to eradicate Satan for you. That is why I even won over death, which the evil ones wanted to give you. Battle is the essence of faith for Christians. If you cannot see that point, you are not a believer. I hope these three key vocabularies will lead your lives from now on but it is not like getting into a battle such as the capital riot. 
it is a divine war. Learn what divine war is individually at your church. Lord, thank you. Teach us to be alert spiritually and become the soldiers to fight for your kingdom. And I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has enabled me because he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry, although I was formerly a blasphemer, a persecutor, and an insolent man. But I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. First Timothy 1, verse 12 and 13. And the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. You, therefore, must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Second Timothy 2, verse 2 and 3. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Ephesians 6, verse 10 and 11. Lord, thank you for choosing us, in spite of our inadequacies, to become the army of Christ in these latter days. Lord, help us to become the soldiers to win over these battles this year. In Hebrew, menuah is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term menuah as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yunnamok TV, News from Heaven. Thank you for watching this video.